Guys, welcome to Blenny Alors. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to grab this top. If it's something you are interested in, please stay to the end of the video. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do well to click on the subscribe button if you haven't. I share the link with other persons on your social media. So what I did is to mark out the zipper line for the front part of this top after which i went through the shoulder line to mark the bust point the under bust and finally the waist line for the waist line length of the waist line it was 17 then the chest um sorry the bust line was 10 inches so at the shoulder line i went to mark at the neckline which was three inches and the shoulder um measurement so the depth of the neckline was at the under bust which was 13 the under bust of this dress was 13 so i went to draw draw it straight to form a v shape so i also did the shoulder slope also mark at the chest line then i also mark at my bust point divided by four then i marked at the midpoint of my arm go go in by half an inch then i curve the arm hole. so i went to divide the bust by four and added my sewing allowance so at the waist I divided by four so add the dart allowance and the sewing allowance so the next thing i'm going to do from the waistline which is 17 inches i went ahead to mark at five inches down so i'll connect the five inches to meet the waistline after connecting the bust line to meet the waistline so i did it like so as shown in the video you can go ahead and curve the bottom part of your own whichever way you want it um just go and explore so i went ahead to draw that line straight to meet the zipper allowance at the under bust so this is basically how to draft the front part of this dress so i'll go ahead and cut this off go ahead and cut this off so you can see at this bottom part, I did not cut at this uh, zipper allowance, you can see. So I went ahead to fold it inside. From there, I marked my nipple to nipple measurement as a boss pan. Went ahead to do that. Then it was se seven and I folded it into two, which was three and a half. So I marked it as my dart point there. So I'll go ahead and rule it straight. After so really rolling straight, I will also go in by one, uh, sorry, half inch to the right, half inch to the left, as shown in the video. So go ahead and do that. Then after doing that, I'll, I'll go ahead and rule it straight. Then I can go ahead and mark and um, fold my dart. So after doing that, I went ahead to fold it like so. So watch the video closely. Went ahead to fold it like so. So you can go ahead and tip your stand. If you can hold it with pin, it's okay. Whichever um, tool or material that you have that is available. So go ahead and do that. So you see that after folding it, the shape of this bottom part is distorted. It's no longer as it was. So I'm going to fill it with this uh, other paper there. So I'll go ahead and draw the shape again on this other paper. And I'm going to use cell tape to, to uh, glue it to each other. Then I will cut it off as shown in the video. You can see I use cell tape and I've cut it off. So it has retained the former um former shape so i just went ahead to this value to indicate that this is the upper part of the front all right so for the um upper part i went ahead to mark my nipple to nipple measurement bust pan then i also went to the shoulder divided by two by dividing it by two can go ahead and draw a straight line to connect the shoulder line with the under bust uh, line that you just mark at now so go ahead and connect the two 
lines together. After doing that, after doing that, the next thing to do is to cut it from the under bust to meet the other, the upper part of the that's the shoulder. So you leave like quarter of an inch or even smaller than quarter of an inch, but you don't have to slit it off. That's just the idea. You don't have to slit it off. So go ahead and cut it as I did. So you can see how it looks. So I'll go ahead and spread it on another paper. You can go ahead and spread it on a bigger paper and cut it afresh again. But because I need to save my papers, I have to, I don't have enough paper. I just went ahead to put fix this little paper at the bottom part of it. You can see how it is. So what I'm going to do is to use my cell tip to glue it to read, ensure that um, it is perfectly fixed on it. So at the bottom part of the the boss it's it has the under, under boss it should be two and a half inches space so that's what i did and i went ahead to cut it off so this is how it looks remember two and a half inch that's what i just measured at the under boss so i went ahead to cut it off and this is how the front part looks like so we are basically through with the front part of it so the back part of it I went ahead to draw my shoulder line and also the boss point and all and the waist point. So the waist point I went to take 17 instead of 16. So for the neckline and the um, shoulder line, the shoulder line I took seven inches and the um, neckline was three inches, same as the front. Then I went ahead to to my shoulder slope which i did also at the front so basically this if you have watched the video on how to draft the basic body pattern this is how it is so from there i'll just go ahead and mark the arm o uh, circumference measurement then i went ahead to mark the same uh, shoulder measurement i used at the upper part and i'll connect it straight to meet this point so automatically this is the chest line i hope you understand what i'm doing if you do not understand please replay the video again so for the back neckline and the depth is one and half inches so i went ahead to curve it to meet the uh, neck circumference so that is for that the back is very easy to draft so for the chest line, I'll just go ahead and divide my ball, the balls by four inches, then add the sewing allowance, and that will be for that. You also do same for the waist. But at the waist, you add the dart allowance and also your sewing allowance. So go ahead and connect it as shown in the video as I've connected it, and also shape your arm or using your your two or your three hand and that would be basically all for the drafting of this top so in our next video i'll be teaching you how to sew this uh, beautiful top so the next thing i'm going to do now uh, is to put the dart so i took the nipple to nipple measurement then also went down by 11 from the shoulder so i'm going to connect it to meet the uh, waistline from that 11 inches to meet the waistline. So at the waistline, I'm going to take half inch left, half inch right. So I've drawn the line and I've marked the half inch left, half inch right. So I went ahead to draw to connect the point, and that will be for the that. The next thing I'm going to do is to cut out the shape of a of the dress so this is how to draft this dress stay tuned to my channel stay glued to my channel for the next video where i'll teach you how to sew this beautiful top if you are yet to 
click on the subscribe button on my channel please go and click on it if you have clicked on it before please don't go and click on it if you do you won't subscribe so please if you have not clicked on the subscribe button do well to click on the subscribe button and share this link the link of this video on your social media platform invite others to subscribe to my youtube channel i post useful videos every week and also give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button and also drop your comment in the comment section i would love to see what you have drafted on instagram page on my instagram page you can send me a message there lenny allures you can follow me on instagram see you in our next video